Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are here in Westby, uh, Wisconsin? Crap, I don't remember. Uh, just getting a late start to the day. Not much going on today. Still need to take care of that tree, jeez. No, I don't want the lights on. Open the door. Thank you. So the first thing for today is we need to take our load of parsnips that we harvested yesterday and obviously apparently let the uh, dealership know they can pick that up. So we've motor grass. And I left a little bit up here just to show you guys just how deep and thick the grass was. And uh, yeah, that's what this entire field was. Let me stop a little bit to pick up as well. It's a bale, and that's why we have our trailer sitting out here. Because we have one bale that didn't fit on the last load, plus whatever is coming out of here. And these two strips, we went ahead and harvested our parsnips. So we do have a trailer full. I don't know how we got a trailer full, but uh, harvest I thought wasn't the greatest, but eh. It was enough to fill up our trailer though. So, next thing that we're gonna do once we get that last little bit mode, though I could tec technically leave it as is and we'll just plow it under, but uh, I do wanna kinda get as much as I can off of these grass fields. But we're gonna go come through and we're gonna plow everything together, make it a big, massive grass field. Why? Well, that's kind of the direction I'm wanting to go. But, like I said, in the meantime, I do want to take our new trailer full of parsnips down and sell them. I don't know how much we're actually going to get. I think it's like 34 cents a liter or something like that. I don't know. I honestly don't know. <clears throat> but I've heard they have the shop uh, down by the dealer has apparently installed some new uh, areas for us to, uh, basically it makes it easier for them to sort through everything. But supposedly one of them is good for parsnips, one or two of them, I think. So we're gonna head down there and uh, get this sold off and we'll get the rest of our day going. Don't mind the stop signs, no one comes down through here anyway. And we're drifting a trailer. <laughs> This is 82 Spirit Studios trailer, and we do kind of have it set to unrealistic capacity, but that brought in $270,000 with a little over $6,000 penalty, which it is what it is. So actually, while I'm thinking of it, I'd mention, ooh, where are we at? I hate when it starts, you know, gets to all zoomed in. Um, I had mentioned about purchasing this. It is four hundred fifty-four thousand. We have four five hundred eighty-four thousand, and it's not just one plot of land. It's three different fields, and then some. Looks like some grass, a couple grassy areas too. So we are going to buy that, and I do eventually want to buy uh, plot twenty-seven, which has fields six and seven. So we have eight, nine, and ten right now as far as what we currently own. It does look like, okay, that's a selling station, great. So the two locker green bins are working, sweet. But yeah, it looks like whatever we don't have right here with uh, buildings, looks like there's grassy area there and up here. So I think I might eventually buy these two as well. Uh, 190, 221, yeah. 
So yeah, that's one that they installed as well as the one out front. So yeah, I'm glad to see that they actually have some decent uh, ones that they've put in to kind of accept all different kinds of grain and vegetables and whatnot. So we are going to head back to the farm and uh, take care of that last strip of grass. So basically, since I see this here, this is the type of grass that we mowed. And that's mowing with our little bat wing mower that we got. I think if we're going to be doing more uh, grass work, I think I'm going to be in looking at investing in a better mower. Probably a self-propelled one. Man, this traffic is crazy. Alright. Oop, I could have gone. You know it's coming from that way. So, I am seriously considering investing into a grass mower. And with the fields that we just purchased, unless there's something growing on it, I think those may become some grass fields as well for us today. Um, let's go take a look. Since it's on the way home, let's go take a quick look. We even got these grass fields here on the other side of us right now, too, so. Alright, is this one our field? I do believe so. Yes, it is. No data found. I see rocks and whatnot. Looks like it's been plowed, but that's about it. Another one down here. I think it's down here. A little small field. Not sure what's going on there. I think the homeowners just planted their own sort of crops. Oh, it's down here on the right. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Plenty of weeds, it looks like. Oh, goody. More parsnips. Hold up. Is it ready to harvest? Why are there so many parsnips around here? Yes, it is. All right. Well, that kind of changes things up. We're going to get this open up. I'm going to walk down and get the harvester that we have. Before we, retur we return it, we're going to get that harvested up real quick. I'll just turn around and uh, sell it. We have a sell point now at our new addition to the farm, so... Yeah, this thing's a beast. If you want to do any kind of vegetable harvesting or anything like that, this is the one to go go with. And go with the head that you can actually expand the uh, harvesting with. So you see the part that just that is disappearing and reappearing? That is your actual harvest with. So I do highly recommend this. If you want to do like vegetables and all that other stuff, like the parsnips. Um, but you hate the fact that... So I'll show you. Actually, did I? Okay, it is. I don't think I ever folded it. So you can see just how it is harvesting. It's got that... I don't even have it the widest width uh, selected. Uh, looks like this is worse than the my other fields back at the homestead. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is just a 10 meter spread maybe? I don't remember. But I just kind of went with the one bump up, not the standard. So... And this thing harvests... Harvest quick. Harvest is... 
Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. My brain was thinking one thing and my mouth kind of said something else. But we'll get this harvested up. Looks like our field to the right there just has lime spread on it. I'll have to take a look, see if anything is planted. And depending on what's planted, we may just say screw it and plow it up and whatnot. Because I'm not really wanting to focus on row crops, at least not right now on this map. Not to say we won't eventually. Part of, part of that will depend on uh, FS25. Because I am definitely going to want to get into FS25 when I get it. I do have it pre-ordered already through Steam. Um... So if you are curious, that is one place you can get it. If you are a PC user like myself. So for that little tiny field, we got $42,000 worth of parsnips. Um, to be honest, just seeing that kind of income from those vegetables kind of is making me want to do some of that. Because I haven't done a focus on vegetables at all since uh, that DLC came out. Uh, I don't know if it was premium or platinum, which one it was. But yeah, that's uh, something I think I might do for one of these fields is just kind of put them in a crop rotation because we have decent harvesters for it um i don't know off i don't remember offhand if my planter uh is suitable for it but i love the sound of this truck it's getting dirty as hell though and our trailer matches it pretty well too so Let's get back here. By the way, I don't know if you noticed. Wait, oh, I stored it, that's right. I did get another tractor as well. 8410, I love this model. That model, the tractor, the mod. I just love these older tractors and this one's an 8110. So yeah, I mentioned as far as, whew, look how loud that can be. So I love the, hold up, why didn't you mow that? There you go. That was odd. I love these, uh, come on, do what I asked you to. These uh, bat wing mowers. 
I don't know. It's just something about them that I do enjoy using them. But yeah, I, there's definitely a better mod out there. Well, not really mod, but I'm curious as far as costs go, because I don't remember offhand. Come over here to mowers. No, it's not the big M that I'm looking at. It's more so something like this guy here or the swather. And the swather, I know, comes with this razor bar with conditioner. I could get one of these guys as far as, you know, being able to swat them and windrow it. But this is kind of more of what you s I seem to see for any mowers. I don't really see them with the big, you know, harvesting header type of cutter, but... Wow, that's only a hundred thousand. We kind of have John Deere, but I don't think they have a John Deere option. Yeah, we can do Massey. I'm fine with Massey. Turn off the lubricating grease, because I, yeah. Yes, I still have that mod in. Why? I have no idea. Yeah, we'll go this route. With sassy Massey. So I feel like every farm needs to have a Sassy Massey. We're going to go with this one. Again, turn off lubricating grease. I forget there's two options sometimes. Or it doesn't register that I hit it twice. This will also help us transport it as well a lot easier. Because I think we'll be able to do a little bit more with the swather as well. Plus, if we really want to go with one of the bigger headers, we can. And that may become an option for us. So one thing I do want to show you here real quick. Oh, yeah, because I just bought these. Hold up. Interesting. <laughs> I want to purchase the soil information for that. So we have it, but that's not what I'm after. So this was our yield between the grass and the parsnips. And then that bit of parsnip. See, that one's like 50% yield. At least here we were close to 80, 75, 80, 85%. And then the grass was pushing 100 in some spots, but not quite. So that's kind of where we stand as far as the yield goes and what we have to do as far as work. So, Um, oh, it's back there on that trailer. I was looking for the uh, spreader for lime. Because I'm going to get lime spread on everything. Ah, yes, it's on that trailer. And we do have a wrapper because I was going to try to get these uh, grass bales wrapped up. But I said shut off. But for some reason, the game would not let me process them. Mm, excuse me. So I'm not 100% sure what that was about. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. Well, it'll probably help if I got all the grass. But it looks like we did finish up the one bale, so we should be able to get that pushed out. Yeah, there it goes. There we go. Said so hit the right hydraulic button. <laughs> See, and I love the fact that some of these mods have been coming with their own wind rower system. One of the reasons why I have a separate wind rower system is because of the fact that we also have a round baler. 
so that I intend to use on some smaller fields if need be. So, or if we do a contract that they insist on round bales. Ooh. All right, come back around to the front because I need to get in my pickup. We need to go get those two bales loaded up. Basically just trying to get the field cleared off so that we can do what we need to. And even though the other fields look like they're, well the one field for certain looks like it's plowed. The other one, I'm not sure if it's been plowed. Oh, of course, and then I just drive right past the bales I'm wanting to get. All reason of me getting this. I'm not gonna drive all the way across the county just to get these delivered, so. They're just gonna stay on this trailer for now. Let me just get this backed up into here, just so we don't have to worry about these getting rained on. Not like that's a really a thing in this game. But I do want to actually... Well, eventually, I'm going to get all this equipment over to the other storage areas. But... I think I am going to keep my... Um, my tractors themselves over here. Just have better control over who has access to them. All right. Yeah, that big one, Rover. Ooh, that's what I was gonna do. Let's jog across the street here, real quick. What's going on here? Uh, so they it looks like they have lime on it Not a hundred percent good on that. It looks like Ooh, Sorry stretching moving a little bit But I know uh, well we have that field that we just harvested so I know that's gonna need lime uh, The one on the south part south end uh, we're gonna need to get limed up And then we're gonna run the plow on everything so let me get this guy out of here. All right, tractor, we're gonna need to move ya. No, not in reverse, thank you. And... And lift. Lift with the back in a nice wrenching motion. Don't do that. And cheat the system. And we're liming away. I forget how big of an area that this actually has. So I'm gonna get this knocked out and I'm probably gonna, I, I don't know if I want the both fields that are over there on the other side that we just purchased. I might make both of those uh, vegetable plots. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna do everything grass for this season to get us through winter anyway. Uh, and then we'll focus on making other decisions in the spring, I think. So for the time being, I think I'm just gonna go ahead, get this work done, uh, get everything knocked out. And uh, wonder why I don't seem to have any. Did I not purchase this? I know I did. 
Now I purchased it. I thought I had it already purchased. My bad. Um, hey, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything cleaned up, taken care of, uh, looking ready for us to plant. And uh, I think we'll just have to see what's going on in, for the next video. Uh, but I'll try to get everything working and ready to go and planted be off camera, to be honest. it's a, That can be a lot of monotonous work. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, uh, if you happen to like what you see, if you catch yourself watching more than one of my videos, please do us both a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That bell will let you be notified of every single video I post and not just like you here and there. If you made it this far in my video, guys, I want to say thank you and I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. And I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week and rest of your day while you're at it. So with all that being said, guys, we will have to catch you in the next episode. So as always, take care. Peace.